The MZ uses the latest digital signal processing technologies to eliminate most external noise sources. However, high sensitivity required to detect smaller objects may make the equipment susceptible to interference from a variety of external sources. The presence of these noise sources may be recognized through unusual bar graph activity, typically spiking into the yellow or red when no one is being screened. The source of the noise may be mechanical or electrical. There are 20 zones on the MZ from head to toe. With only one transmit panel and one receiver panel, there is no indication of left, right, or center. To identify the location of the interference, we will use three menu items, alarm level, base sensitivity, and IR analysis. The alarm level can be used to determine the lowest level of sensitivity required to activate an alarm. In this case, we will use the alarm level to evaluate the interference or noise level. The higher ambient noise interferences display lower numbers on the alarm level. A reading greater than 190 is ideal for minimal noise, otherwise interference is present. The base sensitivity is used to create an alarm based on readings from the alarm level. In this example, we will use the alarm level created by the interference to set the base sensitivity to create an alarm. This will cause the LED lights above the control screen to go red. However, it will not indicate in which zone the alarm is occurring because IR analysis is on. Infrared sensors on the side panel of the unit were designed to prevent false alarms caused by external moving metallic objects or by external wind or interference. When IR analysis is on, there will be no audible or visual alarm sound or zone light because no one is present inside the walkthrough to break the IR beam. We will disable this feature by turning the IR analysis to off. This will allow the unit to audibly alarm and show the zone lights where the interference is occurring when no one is passing through the unit. Now we will observe the alarm level, base sensitivity, and turn off the IR analysis. This will create an alarm and will show the location of the interference by the zone lights. Make sure to write down your current base sensitivity level as the following steps will modify those levels for troubleshooting. Enter admin mode by pressing access 6790. Use the menu down button to find the alarm level. The alarm level indicates the peak level of the interference. Press the plus button to reset the alarm level. Press it a few more times to witness some good alarm levels. Choose one of the higher level numbers and write it down to make sure we remember this will be used for our base sensitivity. Use the menu up button to find the base sensitivity. Use the plus or minus buttons to modify the sensitivity to one of the higher numbers chosen from the alarm level. You could also use the scroll bar to scroll down the base sensitivity. In this example, we'll choose 145. Use the menu down button to find the IR analysis. Use the plus or minus button to modify to off. This will allow the unit to alarm and show zone lights. Step back and observe the unit to see if an alarm occurs. The LEDs above the display will turn red and the zone light should light with an audible sound. Identify the interference source and either adjust the walkthrough location or remove the noise source. Go back to the alarm level menu. Step back again and observe the unit to see if that resolved the issue. The alarm level should read 190 or higher, indicating minimal interference. This concludes troubleshooting, finding interferences or noise sources on the MZ6100.